Hello, my name is the Universe, it's the Doctor and the Quiz Master. And welcome back to Los Angeles Wrestling. Welcome to Fight on the Fourth. It's not a weekly special or anything, we're just calling it that as an homage to an old video on, on this channel. Indeed, as we are kicking things off with some tag team action, is out first. Here they are Connor and Victor, the Ascension, making their way to the ring here in LAW. Indeed, the Ascension kicking things off tonight in some tag team action. Shocking that this is the first time we have seen the Ascension together in the LS11 universe. We've never seen them together before. We've seen Connor a few times over in TNA as Khan as part of the design, but now the design has seemingly been laid to rest. And now Connor and Victor. Making their way to the ring, ready for a tag team matchup that many people may be shocked to see happening here. Indeed, when you see the two people that are aligning tonight in this tag team matchup, I know, and I believe you know as well, Time Lord, that many will be shocked by this. That they will, as out first, here comes... Prime Time Adrian Nova making his way down to the ring. Former LAW champion, former LSWF champion, Adrian Nova, going to be part of Team Xander this weekend at LAW, staying alive. The first ever LAW premium live event. That it is. Adrian Nova makes his way to the ring, ready to take part in the opening contest. So Adrian Nova has made his way down to the ring. And tonight, he teams up with the man he will be on the same team as this weekend. That is right, the LSWF United States Champion. There he is, Xander, making his way down to the ring. We saw him compete last week on LAW as well. And so Xander and Adrian Nova teaming up together for the first time in a couple of years now. For the first time since everything that happened between them at Xander Mania 2023. Indeed, Xander and Adrian Nova putting the differences aside. They are ready for action this weekend as well. Of course, many people believe that Xander and Nova are going to have a hard time staying on the same team after everything that happened between them all those years ago. But they like to believe they've buried the hatchet, that they are on the same side now, and we're going to see just how true that is here in our opening contest. That we are tag team action as Victor and Adrian Nova started out. Any further ado, here we go. Victor now pulls him in. Nova counters. Nova! Kicking to the ribs now and Adrian Nova. Springboard went for a cutter. Nobody home. Tag is made to Connor. Connor now in the matchup. Grabs onto him. Pulls Nova in. Scoops him up. And knee into the back taking down Adrian Nova. Prime time, Adrian Nova goes down now, and Adrian Nova's up. Adrian Nova's down. And now Connor picking Nova back up to his feet. Connor now, look at this, Nova. Hip toss taking him down. Taking down the man that's twice his size is Nova. You've got to think the Ascension are out to prove something tonight. We have never seen them together in the Elseven Universe. It has been five years. We are in season six as of tonight. This is the first LAW episode of Season 6 as well. And now Connor and Victor tonight are looking to prove something. That they are looking to try and make waves, make themselves notice, try and get contracts. Somewhere, somehow, WWE, AEW, TNA, somewhere. 
trying to get themselves back into the main universe. We now know that the uh, the boundaries, the rules of who can go where within the LS11 universe have been loosened strictly. We've seen Buddy Murphy turn up in WWE, same with Timothy Thatcher. And now we have the situation where you never know who's going to make their way to one of these other shows as Adrian Nova has been handling the Ascension completely on his own here. That's right, he's not even tried to make a tag to Xander, yet there's a shooting star to Victor. Victor now back up on the apron, and Victor thrown out of the ring by Adrian Nova, hits the ropes, and dives out onto him. Adrian Nova takes him down now, and Nova tag is made, Xander is in. And Xander, oh, what a clothesline to corner. Xander enters the mix, and of course, Nova and Xander are the first two members of Xander's team this weekend for the LA Street Fight. Victor thrown back into the ring now by Adrian Nova. Xander drops an elbow on him. We know two members of Team Xander. We know three members of Team Blackstone. We know it's Xander and Adrian Nova, as well as two other partners. Xander claims that he has two partners figured out at this point. Against Black Alexander Blackstone, Blue Pain, and the Maharaja Raj Desi, as well as a fourth partner that Blackstone intends to reveal later tonight. That is correct now, as big knee strike there from Victor. And now Victor, no, wait a minute, Xander counters, Xander throws him into the corner, and clothesline, taking him down. Victor goes down now, and Xander tells him, bring it. Xander countering the attempted clothesline from Victor or from Connor now, and Connor collides with Xander now. Connor's got a hold of him. Connor with Xander now, shoulder block taking him down. Grabs a hold of him now, pulling back on the nose. Connor's got the nose of Xander now, trying to take him down. Down he goes, rolls him over now, and Connor grabs onto him and slams him down by the back of the leg. Right hook into the back now, Connor. Countered by Xander now, and Xander. Spinebuster takes him down. Grabs a hold of him now, look at this, Xander. Trying to prove he is more than just an LSWF character. Is Xander trying to prove he can do this inside the ring as Adrian Nova enters the mix now, knocking back Connor. And Adrian Nova swings him around now, Adrian Nova. No, knocked back by Connor. Nova swings through, kicks him in the ribs now, and Nova... Nova now looking to go prime time, running the ropes. Nova went for the cutter, missed him though. And now Connor's got him, knocked back. Nova counters. Nova got it. Adrian Nova knocked him down. Connor comes in. Nova takes him down now, and Nova looking to go prime time. Frog Splash! Cover on Connor for the one, two, three! Adrian Nova and Xander picking up the victory there. Big win for those two. Just like that, Xander and Adrian Nova take down the Ascension in tag team action. I've got to tell you, Time Lord, I don't think there's any descension between these two. Boo. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. There is Team Blackstone, Alexander Blackstone, Blue Pain, and the Maharaja Raj Desi, all with chairs in hand. Well, I got it. Nova and Xander. Yes, they have backup. I thought he might have been coming to betray him. Maven has come to the rescue. Yo. Tall, dark, and spooky. I got friends in high places. Just like you. I'm going to make you wait for my next partner, though. He likes to be a little dramatic when he shows up. Well, I'll you one man, bun. You'll see my last partner before the end of the night. I look forward to it.
Well, the battle lines have been drawn, and we are going to know Xander's final part, or we're going to know Blackstone's final partner later tonight. As now we've got some singles action between two of the men that are going to be involved in the ladder match to crown the first ever LAW television champion this weekend. And staying alive. Out first, here he is, Mr. CQ himself. Cole Quinn. Mr. CQ Cole Quinn, this is not his first rodeo in the LS11 universe. We've actually seen him here as a local talent a few times over the years, mainly, primarily back in Season 1 and 2. Actually, I believe it was Season 1 and Season 3, excuse me. That is right, he had two matches on SmackDown in the early seasons of LS11 Universe when we were still on 2K19. The first time we ever saw him was a match against Sheamus on an episode of SmackDown, and then on the first SmackDown of Season 3, he and Hunico Sin Cara took on the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. Both times in a losing effort, of course. That is correct, and now he goes head-to-head -head with a student of the now former Intercontinental Champion over in WWE, a product of the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, Dante Leon. That is right, Dante Leon was part of the first ever LAW show as well. Indeed, Dante Leon, the first time we saw him, he was going one-on-one -on -one with Maven Huffman, who we now know is going to be Xander's third man in the balls, or in the street fight, the LA street fight this Saturday on Staying Alive. So in 48 hours, we will see you all again for more Los Angeles wrestling, which is very exciting. Indeed it is, and we know these two are going to be joined in a five-way ladder match by the Beast Mortis, Gran Metalik, aka Mascara Dorado, and the fourth man, or the the fifth man, excuse me, in that matchup is going to be Blake Christian. That it is, and these two, Dante Leon and Cole Quinn, are going to be in our first matchup tonight on LAW. So, Dante Leon's made his way to the ring. Let's do this. Without any further ado, these two go one-on-one -on, -one on first matchup of the night. Here we go. Dante Leon starts it out with a bulldog, knocking him back. Leon goes for the ropes. Quinn knocked back with an elbow. Cole Quinn now going into the legs, and Dante Leon, forearm strike, turns him around. He's got hold of him now, and Dante Leon swings around. Hurricane run to Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn's a veteran of the Indies. He's been around for a while. He grew up. Grew his craft, honed his craft in BCW under Baron Blade. A swift recover kick out there from Cole Quinn. Quinn rolls through though now, and Cole Quinn. Here we go, sending Dante Leon into the corner. As he was saying, yes, he honed his craft in BCW, learning under Baron Blade. And he, he's been a bit ungrateful to Baron Blade. Baron Blade tried to sign into an exclusive BCW contract. And Baron Blade's word and exclusivity there is career suicide. Well, he ultimately chose not to sign that contract. Ended up honing his craft on the ace. Has competed in uh, has competed in the Japan Hall. He's competed in Arena Mexico. He's competed in the Brit, the UK club. Competed all over the Indies. Well, you're right about that. I'll give you that one. Is up to the top rope goes Dante Leon. Stat corkscrew off the top into a cover on Cole Quinn for the one, two. Cole Quinn ends up coming short. Dante Leon with the corkscrew off the top gets the victory to kick us off tonight at LAW. A massive win there for Dante Leon as we continue our show tonight here on Los Angeles Wrestling. So Fala Ba is backed out of his matchup with me. This weekend it's staying alive. I get it. 
I've been tweeting about it, but as we all know, WWE is paying for my socials to be shadow banned, and they have been for the last eight years. Ever since they fired me for no good reason. We all know that Fall Out Boy is ducking me. The same way that WWE's been ducking me. The same way AEW's been ducking me. Because none of them are able to handle the hottest free agent in wrestling. None of them are able to handle the big guy. And I was excited for my first match in eight years to happen this weekend. But there's not another man around here who... Hey, Ryback! Stop talking about being shadow banned. You're just an idiot. Fall the bars injured. That's why he pulled out of the match. You want someone to fight? Look no further than the real hottest free agent in wrestling right now. Von Wagner. Who? That's the same thing everyone said about you for the last eight years since you got fired. At least when I got fired... Everyone wanted to see me come back. Everyone wanted to see what i do next. You came back, what, two months ago? From being gone for eight years? And everyone said, Oh yeah, Ryback was a thing, wasn't he? Well, guess what, Ryback? I'm gonna fight you this weekend. And you're gonna get tabled come Saturday. Alright, well, it's time for our last match of the night. Indeed, we're moving to three matches of the night for shows like LAW, LSW, just to, um, well, let's, let's be blunt, just to, to make someone's life a little easier. Indeed. I'm sure that someone very much appreciates it. I do. don't know if you can all hear him just off the microphone thing he's producing in the back right now, but he's not terribly far away from the commentary desk if we need him. But this is a rematch from the tournament's finale a few weeks back. As here comes the number one contender. A.C. Navarro, the man who won the entire tournament, unfairly and unjustly won the entire tournament, might I add. What? Xander got in the ring and fast count. The Blackstone brutalized a referee. Two wrongs do not make a right. Says the kidnapper, you always go back to that. Yeah, I do. As he is going one on one with the leader of Team Blackstone, here comes Alexander Blackstone to the ring. He's being accompanied by the LFWF Women's Champion, his his partner in crime, with really his corrupted bride. Liza Blackstone. There's nothing corrupted about her. She's just seen the light that is the darkness. So the Blackstone Empire making their way down to the ring. Blackstones have made their way down to the ring. Alexander Blackstone and KC Navarro. It's about to be a highly anticipated rematch.
So here we go, Navarro and Blackstone, and Navarro trying to use his speed early on here, but Blackstone's got him up, and Blackstone takes him down. Blackstone has turned him over now with a kick, and Blackstone punch to the head of Navarro. Navarro goes down now, Blackstone gets him back to his feet, clothesline to the challenger. And Blackstone kicking away at him repeatedly in the ribs. Navarro goes down now. Blackstone going up to the top rope. Blackstone. Looking to fly. Goes for a splash. Navarro out of the way. Navarro with a kick into the ribs. Now Blackstone goes for a crossbody. Navarro grabs the ropes. Goes for him. Gets caught. Blackstone swings him around. Throws him off the ropes. Grabs onto him. Breaks the eyes. And... Hurricane Rana. Kick in the ribs now. Pulls him over now. Blackstone. Cover on the Varro. Kick out. And a, and a chokeslam backbreaker as well. Blackstone taking down Navarro now. Blackstone with a chop. Navarro answers back. As now Blackstone fires back at Navarro. He's swinging out of his weight class right now as Navarro. And he's hanging in there. For now he may be, but he gets hit with a super kick from Blackstone. Blackstone is a heavyweight through and through. We know this, but Navarro... Is an underdog, and he is not going to say die. Blackstone grabs onto him now, and Blackstone... Looking to squash him like a bug. Eliza Blackstone slid a chair into the ring, and Blackstone... Alexander the top, went for a splash, Navarro rolls out of the way. Rylo knocks him back, drop kick. And now Casey Navarro... Whoa, leapfrogs over the... Over the attempted... Well, over the attempted cross body there, now kicks him in the ribs, and sunset flip cover now takes him down. Blackstone's down for the one, two, kick out from Blackstone. Navarro staying on top of him. I, for one, am just glad we are finally getting an encounter between these two. Xander isn't sticking his big, big ears in. I thought the same was bigness. Have you seen his ears? Well, that's just rude. Off the ropes now, Navarro with a splash to the chest of Blackstone. Blackstone goes down, cover for the one, two, kick out from Blackstone. Navarro back to his feet, clothesline from Blackstone. Now Alexander Blackstone ducks him, here we go, off the ropes. Back body drop connects. And... Spine Buster! Massive Spine Buster takes him down, cover, one... Two kick out. A kick out there from Navarro. Now Navarro avoids the crossbody, knocks him down. Super kick. KC Navarro. We could be on the verge of an underdog moment here, Navarro. Here we go. Boom salt to Blackstone cover. For the one, two. Now running the ropes. Hits him with a knee. Here we go again. Casey Navarro staying on top of now Eliza Blackstone. Eliza Blackstone yelling at Navarro. Now Blackstone, hold on a minute, grabs onto him. Alexander Blackstone, no! Counters! Navarro taking him down. KC Navarro avoided the pile driver. Avoided the power bomb that's beat many before him. And Navarro with a dive to the outside. 
Alexander Blackstone goes down. Now Navarro sends him into the barricade. Referee at the count of two. Navarro runs back towards the ring. Up onto the apron now. Navarro. Oh, got him. Here we go. Slingshots in. Flatliner taking him down. Casey Navarro taking down Alexander Blackstone. And Eliza Blackstone once again. Swings him around now, does Alexander though, now Alexander Blackstone. That's my boy kick now, and... Double strike there from Navarro. Navarro's got a hold of Blackstone now, throws him over the top, out to the floor. Blackstone's down now, Navarro. Casey okay, Navarro now, here we go. Oh, went for a went for a, a crossbody, but Eliza got in the way. Eliza Blackstone just getting in the way there, preventing preventing Navarro from being able to dive onto Blackstone. Power bomb on that chair that Blackstone had introduced by Eliza. Now we're at the count of five. As Alexander Blackstone grabs onto him, pulls him in, lifts him up. Navarro slides out of it into a chop block, knocking him down. Now Casey Navarro back up on the apron. Navarro. Going up to the top rope now in Casey Navarro. Double axe handle takes him down. Here we go, runs the ropes. And knee into the ribs. And follows it through. Off the ropes again for... Went for another one, nobody home. Blackstone with the discus lariat. And Alexander Blackstone now stalking him. Pulls Navarro in. Lifts him up. Casey Navarro. Rolls him back through into a cover now. Blackstone's down. Navarro for the one. Two. No. Counted. Blackstone. One. No. Navarro. One. No. Blackstone. One. No. Counted. One. No. Oh, for God's sake. Now Navarro's got him again, though. Navarro rolls him through again. One. No. No. One. Two. No. Uh, th that had to end eventually, right? Grabs him again now. Navarro rolls Blackstone through again. One. Two. Kick out again. Blackstone's staying in it. Navarro kicks him in the head. Navarro. Into DDT. Navarro's got him down now. Cover on Blackstone. For the one. Two. No! Nearly got him. Blackstone manages to kick out as Navarro putting the boots to him. Alexander Blackstone with a knee into the face. Blackstone's got him down now, but Navarro getting back up to his feet. Navarro lifted up and... Powerbomb! And now Navarro falls out of the ring. Blackstone following after him now, and Navarro up on the shoulders of Blackstone, and Blackstone has him up for a fireman's carry. Drops him into the apron. Down he goes. Navarro pushes him away, though. Navarro knocking back Blackstone. Comes back in, goes for a kick. Nobody home. Navarro. Up onto the apron, Casey Navarro. Springboard. Crossbody! Into a cover now on Blackstone. Casey Navarro's got him down for the one. Two. No! Nearly got him again. Blackstone managing to kick out once again. Showing the resilience is the monster that is Alex Blackstone. Now Blackstone went for him. Countered. Navarro rolls him through again. Navarro. Cover again on Blackstone. One. Two. Three! Navarro got him! Well, Navarro with the win over Blackstone. And oh my god! Conald! What are you doing?
I have never seen Conald snap like this! And C Conald's helping Blackstone! Conald's helping Blackstone to help Conald. That is what you're witnessing now. Oh man, bun! Say hello to the fourth member of Team Blackstone. Xander, you keep telling me to do no matches on Saturday. Well, I guess I'm doing two. Because in the opener, I'm squashing that little twerp who keeps trying to tell me to take a week off before the title match. And then in the main event, I'm going to choke you out after what you did at ARW a couple of weeks ago. So see you soon, Xander. See you very soon. Well, folks, I, I never thought we'd see this. Conald has joined the dark side. I've been the doctor. I've been the quiz master. And that was LAW. We'll see you in two days for staying alive. Which it seems is going to be a hard thing for Navarro to do this weekend. Xander, I hope your fourth member is good.